Welcome to News Click. We have with us Kalathur Mani, President of DVK of Tamil Nadu. This movement has been leading anti-caste struggles and, uh, and movement for rational thinking and scientific uh, temper in the Tamil society. Welcome to News Click, sir. Across the country, especially in Maharashtra and Karnataka, we had seen the death of uh, rational thinkers like uh, Narendra Dabolkar, Kalburgi, Govind Pansare. And now we have seen the death of one of the activists of atheist movements in Tamil Nadu, H. Farooq. Can you please throw some light on uh, what has hap really happened in Tamil Nadu? I find a little dif difference for, between those three and this uh, Farooq. The three people were killed by the Hindu forces. They have some politics behind them. But here, the Farooq was killed by the Muslim fundamentalists. They have no politics behind this. That is, they are only fanatics, of religious fanatics. And the new Wahhabism is coming here and it is established. There are some movements which are teaching about the Wahhabism uh, ideologies here. These people, there are very few monobots in this Tamil Nadu, but the, the entire Muslim community is against them. They, they are not accepting, but the murder was done by those Wahhabist people. That context, even Farooq's father has come out saying that if his son was killed for his beliefs, even I also am an atheist. Uh, do you think that's a progressive step and a direction for the Muslim community in Tamil Nadu? No, it's an emotional step, I think. There are a lot of members from the Muslim community in our movement. There are orators, you know, there are district presidents of our party from Muslim communities. It's the first time a person of Priyar's movement or a rationalist is being targeted by the Muslim community. Muslim fundamentalists. Between the Sindhu Dua forces and ourselves. But it's the first attack on a rationalist in Tamil Nadu by Muslim fundamentalists. Uh, sir, in that context, can you throw some light on how in Tamil Nadu the rationality movement and the atheist movement played a role in uh, educating the society against uh, superstition and uh, religious beliefs that are actually enslaving the people. This, you see, rationalist movement is here. Even in the 19th century itself, there was a Lovig Sang was there. They were uh, having two periodicals, one in Tamil, one in English, Free Thinker, and uh, another uh, periodical in Tamil in 1872 itself. But only after the Periyar's movement started in 1925, the self-respect movement was uh, launched by Periyar in 1925. After 1925, it has uh, entire Tamil community have somehow or other they have absorbed the rational thinking. The, in Tamil Nadu, you can see a meeting of the, our meeting will be going on. On the other side, a procession of Vinayaga or some deity will be for going. We will just stop the meeting and they will pass on and we will talk. At some ways, they will be going, we will be uh, uh, speaking about uh, racial ideas and in, even in about Ramayana and all, you see Vinayaka idol was broken and Rama's uh, portrait were burned in Tamil Nadu. Nothing was, no emo, emotional uh, attack on us from Hindutva forces, only police have arrested us. Police have filed a case against it for having burned or uh, broken the idols of uh, It is not in the temple. The idol was done by us. It will be broken in the villages. Say that it's, uh, it's... Yeah, it is just a demonstration. Oh, oh. Ah, more or less, more or less, the Tamil community have taken this so easily that they will pass on. Only nowadays, after this BJP has come to power, or a little earlier, uh, some after one uh, mass conversion was done in Minakshi in 1980. Uh, they, the people from the uh, scheduled uh, caste have converted to Islam. Only after that, the Hindu forces started to make their uh, movements in this area. But now, only after for the past five or six years, they are uh, coming up with the uh, processions and all. The Jalilida was with them, so to say. She was with them. She was Tamil Nadu's Bharati Janata Party. 
yeah now what are the challenges in the current context before the rational movement and anti caste movement in tamil nadu yes uh, the dmk was a splendid party from dravid rakesh they have started their political party they have contested the election only in 1957 though they have uh, the split was in 1949 itself they contested the election only in 1959 57 up to the entry into electoral politics they were talking about rational things about the in their meeting they will be discussing some things in 1967 they came to power after the after coming to the power and after the demise of uh, c and anadurai anna the president of the party after the kalanjars regime this kalanjar karunanis regime uh, little by little they have shared all these uh, policies the senior people are with the rational thinking but they won't come out uh, and uh, talk in public about this they will tell i am an atheist to themselves you see now stalin is the or uh, now working president of the party stalin is a not a rationalist only kalanjar himself was a rationalist not even but in the villages in the remote villages the people from dmk party are having rational ideas ideologies they are with us in our agitations in our meetings uh, in all this the people will be the members will be taking part but the command is not having so much of interest in the rational ideas how as being the president of dvk what are the programs you have for the people so that you bring them closer to rational thinking and scientific temper uh, before uh, we have used to propaganda tours we will arrange there will be three or four groups with the singer or a uh, uh, not uh, drama and all uh, street dramas will be played and there will be a speaker to talk about things we will distribute pamphlets the three uh, before up before six months up to six before six months we were having a when the campaigns against caste only now only last month we had a program for seven days in five groups have been traveling this for two times the title was that nambunga arivila nambadinga samiyar it means it is believe in science not the samiyars it was the title and uh, entire tour was only propagating rationalism only how was the response of the people for this program oh, see there will be no uh, person to agitate against this propaganda only the hindutva forces they all they used to tell something with the people the air coming they will be against our gods they may bro break our gods and all they will try to uh, organize a group but it never helped any anywhere they can stop they can't stop us in any place but there are some clicks there the police will come and ask us to go to another place not in our team in another group is was in kanjiburam there are some one in two or three places the police asked us not to do our propaganda at that area for there are some chances of breaking so uh, from the intellectuals uh, how has been the response uh, towards this uh, movement are they talking about it in the public sphere or there is still not much in the discussions across the state uh, yes uh, before uh, one, two, or two or three years we were frustrated with the students of this uh, our uh, tamil nadu they never cared about these things about anti caste propagandas or rationalist propagandas they will not take any care about this but for the past i don't know how whether after the regime of uh, throwing of uh, modi or so that if students are interested in taking part in our discussions in facebook discussions and all they will they will there are write ups in even magazines like uh, some weekly magazines they will be some write ups about the rationalism at all now i find that student community is turning their eyes towards this anti caste and rational ideas 
now that the challenge is very severe from the right wing forces in the country and even in tamil nadu you can see the right wing forces making their entry into tamil nadu what do you see how do you think you can bring about people and like minded parties together for having a broad coalition against the onslaught against the constitution against the scientific thinking and against rational thinkers what do you think is a platform to bring all the people yes you see in tamil nadu there is uh, some other uh, uh, hindrance for us then tamil national parties are here their rationalism as uh, their nationalism has gone uh, to a racism so to say in tamil nadu the tamil national movements used to blame entire karnataka kannada karadigas for the kaveri issue they will blame entire malayalis for the mullai periyar issue when the mullai periyar issue was uh, there in paimuttur some areas the bakeries ran by malayalis were broken attacked by this uh, tamil nation forces uh, but we conducted a survey and found that more or less most of the bakeries 90% 85% of the bakeries were run by scheduled caste people from uh, kerala who cannot run such a shop in their area they have come here and uh, opened the shop they are just identified as malayalis sir they will not be identified by the caste or uh, community so they came here we told them that you have not you have attacked the people who cannot live the they are living out there in kerala for the reason that they are from down trodden communities no but they will be arguing that no they should be sent out this kannadiya uh, should be sent out the telugu people will be sent out this is the difficulty now we are facing with our people in periyar days there were leaders who are having tamil national ideas except on mahapur sivanyana he was with the same idea of these people but the other leaders were not uh, segregating people in the name of language or something. they will see that they are sudras or adi sudras only wherever they the language may be different the people of that generation was considering that all are being enslaved by brahmanism but nowadays the tamil national parties are uh, segregating people he may be a down trodden community or a backward community or whatever may be but in the name of language we are facing more uh, 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 hinder uh, obstacles from these tamil national parties more than from the brahmanical forces in tamil nadu we can say so we have to we are uh, discussing with them some people have uh, accepted our uh, they they used to blame us our periyar is from kannada origin so the people are supporting kannadigas these people are supporting they will be saying but what we want to the divide the people as brahmanical forces and anti brahmanical or the enslaved people as sudra sandali sudras but nowadays only there are little change in the tamil nation parties but they are the more we are facing some difficulties to having our movement with them but the other political parties are with us uh, see even a periyar movement gives a comment on any of the political party it will be seen so seriously by the people political parties are with us all the dravidian parties maybe except to admk another out of the kingdom they will not they are not at all a political people i will say but the people from vidudalai srutigal yeah the dalit people of india now the name has changed to vidudalai srutigal the other backward class parties are with us this dmk the other uh, vikos party they are all with us whenever we conduct a meeting or agitation they will support or else they will not give any trouble to us they will be with us thank you sir for giving us your valuable time we will get back to you on some other issue